Well, I am done at the barn. I am just on my way back. It's 2.30. 2.30. I had a lot to do today. You know, what a horrible week for weather. I, <laughs> it always happens. I get all the way down to Oak Grove. It was supposed to be sunny. I looked at the weather app the day before it. Now, in fairness, maybe it was two days before, now that I say it. Maybe it was two days before. Sunny, 24 Celsius. Hot. I brought two suits because I was going to qualify. Instead, I find out as I'm leaving Cleveland, the qualifiers are moved to Wednesday, which was frustrating enough. Thankfully, it all worked out well. We'll talk about that in a minute. And uh, I also found out that it was not sunny at all, actually. In fact, it rained for the entire morning. The entire morning it rained in uh, Oak Grove, Kentucky. Now, it could have been worse. I'm not going to completely complain because it didn't really rain when I was racing. It was just muddy. It was just muddy and tacky out. So it really wasn't the end of the world. I thought it was going to be much worse. Much worse. Now, the horses raced okay, right? Um, I don't think I did talk about them, did I? Um, Brace for landing. Obviously, I was late to race. Brace for landing. I had to leave. As it turned out, I got to the Enterprise uh, drop-off zone in the in the parking garage at 6.56. My plane at gate B8 began boarding at 7 o'clock. Pretty tight. I ran up the stairs and got through. T I have, I have TSA. Uh, I ran through there. I was actually at the gate at 7-Eleven. Uh, so... It wasn't the end of the world. So Brace for Landing and Three Point Blue Chip were together. Brace, I kind of thought that's how the race would, would maybe go if Johnny didn't find a hole. And I really didn't mind when he made front. I'm like, well, I know Atlee's horse is a nice horse. But geez, you know, Brace had that good mile, that great qualifier. He's trained a couple of times. He's in fit condition, half 57 and two. He should be a player in here. And he wasn't. And really... Uh, around the last turn, I'm like, oh my God, well, he's walking and he's going to back three point blue chip through the field. Instead, three point blue chip get out and he also was a little bit flat. I had floated the idea to uh, both Tom and Julie about just bringing three point blue chip to uh, Pennsylvania. A little more opportunity there. You know, those races at Oak Grove, there's always gatekeepers. There's always a Sparks Fly or whatever the hell that horse is named. There's always a gatekeeper in them. There's no, there's never any cakewalks. Not that there is anywhere, but there's more classes, I believe, for Horse Lake Three Point at uh, the Meadows. So you may see that take place over the next couple of weeks. I know uh, Julie had said, I didn't realize he wasn't on Lazex either. We put him on Lazex as a two-year-old, but a lot of time off. So when he came back, he was not on Lazex. She said, let's try him on Lazex uh, and race him Tuesday, which I don't have a problem with. I don't want to rock the boat. You know, I think what's done is done now. Um, now it's just trying to get him on track. See if we can see if we can see a spark of the old three point. Certainly haven't seen one of those, and that's racing. That happens, so it's not anybody's fault. I saw him; he was in good shape, looked good yesterday. Just obviously not three point, right? So um, that was those two militant. I, I again happy with his determination. I expected a little more. I, this is a new week now. They're waiting like fifty five, which is just crushing. Like just suck the soul right out of you when you you know when I'm looking for a, a good mile and 58 and a piece 59 and they go in 55, that's tough. I'd said to Eric after, geez, I wonder if maybe it'd be worth putting uh putting the trotting hobbles on them. I I don't feel they would help them. I had no trouble keeping them together, but I really couldn't race them where I wanted to. So there's that. Uh, flip flops were on him and Brace. Could have been a little telling. Also, I thought the track was firm enough that they would both get through it, but. Neither of them raced very good. So uh, it could be a shoeing adjustment that needs made. We'll see about that also. Uh, green tea, I thought raced good. I'll tell you this. If I come first over with green tea, I'm second, I think. Uh, he raced very, very good. But um, I, he's just got a lot to learn, right? Still a stud, still stubborn, still a little rude, you know, a little funny at the gate. I kept him quiet as I could. I didn't move him first over, and I thought I was about to get myself in trouble. He started throwing his head and throwing his head which drives me crazy, but, um, you just really, it's going to take time with this guy, right? Lots of speed, just going to take time with him. And then we kicked off the program with Kings County and he was admittedly flat. I knew when I warmed him up, wasn't quite as good as he was the week before we had just worked on his back 
before we brought him home, uh, before he brought him home, before we brought him to Oak Road, we had just worked on his back. So, uh, was that bothering him? Certainly when I, when I pushed on him, it seemed like it was usually backs are secondary, but with him, I think there is, he does have a sore back. So, um, you got to work on some of the front end and then try to tidy up that back end. Uh, I think there's lots to work on with him. And then of course we scoped him after and he did bleed a little bit. So again, don't train him in between. And, 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 and this is not Eric's fault at all. I would have told him to do the same thing, you know, train him up tight. We're going into the open. I think we have a shot. You guys knew I was going out of there with him. You know, I don't think we would have done anything differently except look through the glasses, just look through the lenses of, of hindsight and say, yeah, maybe we shouldn't have trained him in the middle, right? Maybe we should have been a little more aggressive drying him up. Yeah, sure. But that's not how, that's not how this game works. So we, we took what we were given. We were lucky to be fourth, um, scoped, scope with a little bit of blood, a little bit of mucus, um, didn't need to draw blood, nor where would you get it run? Uh, you're in Oak Grove, so that's not going to happen. Uh, but I'm pretty sure we know what's going on with him. So work on his back, physically work on his back, uh, work on his front end, assuming that he's loading weight. Um, I believe Dr. Roberts uh, texted me last night and said he's going to make his way down there this week. So he can probably do some work on uh, on Kings County also. So we have lots to work work on with Kings County. It wasn't just a bad race like, oh, my God. You know, I knew. I knew at the half when Verlin Yoder wheeled up alongside me and I could slowly see that white flag, uh, that white flag ascending, so to speak, on, on Kings County. I'm like, oh, man, this sucks. But then he come back on, even come back on. So, so the desire is still there. Just wasn't quite as good the first week, but I think we have a pretty good handle on why and how to get him back to the way he was. So uh, I get home late, as I said get home late last night, got up this morning. We had a number of horses to train. Now I did put memory and imagination, arson and, uh, memory and imagination, arson and pickpocket in the bike. I went a mile in two, one with pickpocket. Very good. Last half in 59. Still think one, he's a little bit behind cause we had that, that, uh, entrapment fixed so he's a good week and a half of work away from being where we would want him to be so i was happy with that memory and imagination two minutes last half 58 and a piece he was good running in a little bit i asked dr latessa to maybe take a look at him but he's for the most part ready to go right now we'll either qualify him if i'm not going to oak grove on tuesday we'll qualify him tuesday at the meadows if i am going to oak grove then we'll qualify him thursday at uh, northfield park that's the plan for right now and then Arson was tremendous. 58 last half, 56 and 4, 57. He was very, very good. He's ready to go. Those three horses, for the most part, two of them ready to go right now. Pickpocket maybe a week and a half behind, but getting there. So uh, I was training those horses in the race bike in between the baby sets. We had a number of sets. Jason McGinnis has gone away. He's going to get a little vacation. Um, took some time off, uh, six days, I think. Him and his, his fiance. for those of you who don't know, Jason is engaged to Carrie. Uh, very, very nice girl and really happy for them. And, you know, Jason is smart enough. He takes care of himself too and, and knows that you just can't go, 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 go all the time. And um, took some time to just spend four or five, six days with, with Carrie. Uh, so he's out of commission for this week, for the remainder of the week. I woke up this morning and forgot that. Had him in all the sets. So I had to change everything around. There were some horses I trained on Monday that had the day off today. Um, that had the day off today. So I had retooled the sets when we were on the fly for the most part though, I'll give you the, uh, the overview. We did drop the hammer a little bit on some of them today. Yes. It was a bit tacky on the track, a lot like Oak Grove was yesterday, but the weather was decent and the track dried up as the day went on. Um, and good miles. Nonetheless, we aimed for about 20, 22, 20, somewhere in that range with most of them. One set, we were going to get a little bit slower. The first set, we went a mile in 219. Jimbery cut it out and I was a winner with her. Uh, Memento Mori was flying on the end of it. Arrowhead, Hanover, I don't play nice. And Westland Warrior were all right there. Now, Amy went with Westland Warrior. He, he's a tricky horse to get. He switches his leads. I said this in a video and somebody didn't, somebody asked me what I meant. He, he takes a bit longer to switch his leads. And, and of course, when I say it out loud and try to listen to myself, say it as if I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So when the horses come out of the turns, you'll see them adjust their gait a little bit, maybe put a step in down again, going into the turns, coming out of the turns. Well, Wesson Warrior, his, his gait, he, he, it's a little elongated. So rather than like 
one Mississippi or one and a half, two Mississippis, and they're switched over with their ass over a bit running out, running in. He's a little bit more, right? He's like two and a half, three Mississippis. I guess that doesn't even make sense. Um, you got to watch him going in and out of the turns. How's that? So um, uh, it's it's hard to adjust when you're not used to the horse. And Amy hasn't gone with him in a while. So he was a little rough coming out of the last turn, but ended up finishing with us and, and a good mile by him. I was very happy with everybody that went in the first set. Second set, bit of a surprise. Uh, we went a little more than I wanted to. Went a mile on 220 right on. Now, this was a set I was planning on going a little bit slower with. But I had scratched Melisandre out of there to put her in a different set that needed a horse because Jason wasn't here. So I'm, I'm changing on the fly. Um, oh, he'll know was good. I won the set with never lose Felix told you guys he's coming around still a little bumpy here and there, but a mile and two twenty last half and seven is a hell of a mile for never lose Felix. And he did it quite easily. Oh, he'll know was second or third Oh, what a lady, what a night. And I'm ready to, I'm ready to made a break getting into the last turn. I'd said to Joey when we pulled up, uh, I thought his hobbles maybe were a tiny bit loose. Uh, but again, as we start to screw the horses down, you can't, when we, when we start to drop the hammer on them in the latter part of April, the first part of May, there's no retraction. There's no regression, right? It's not one step two forward, two steps back. It's straightforward. Now that doesn't mean they're, they're ready to bounce June 1st, but you'll see the first part of June, most of these horses will be ready to qualify. We've given them a pretty easy springtime so now it's time to start battening down the hatches so to speak again also so never lose felix was great i, I was very happy with everybody and i'm ready to it was sound everything was fine i already know he's fast i'm not worried about him grand slam dio very good in the next set rosetta was charging but couldn't get her uh a mile in 219 i was really really happy with uh grand slam dio philly uh, my only concern with grand slam dio is when you go on the track with her that first lap she does act like she could kick. Now, I know her, so I kind of just seesaw her a little better, maybe hit her a swat in the arse with the whip. So I know her, she she might open fire. So you have to be cognitive of that. If she goes anywhere, beware in the post parade. Just don't let her, just be ahead of her and understand that you have to be. Um, I, I really don't know why she does it, but she gave me a feeling today, like, and I was, I was trying to, again, I was looking at her and say, okay, if I wasn't me and I didn't know and I was just going out to go with her, would she? I think she would. I think she would kick. So, uh, Grand Slam Dio, I mean, I, I, I love the filly. I think she's a really, really nice filly. And she doesn't do it after. After you get through the first lap, she's perfect. No problem. Not a, not a danger at all. Um, so, Grand Slam Dio won the set. Rosetta was second and charging late. Cadeau was good also. I'd scratched dancing to myself. Of course, Jason wasn't in there. I just gave that horse a day off. And high, high hopes. Uh, she was better. She was better today. Um, set four, who do we have? Ali Scott Grit was, uh, was the winner. No, I was the winner. I moved Melisandre into that set. She scooped them down the back stretch and looked very, very good. Um, very happy with the way Melisandre went. We backed this bunch up a little bit, one a mile and 26. Everybody was super comfortable. Now, yesterday there were a couple of horses acted a little colicky, uh, and we just took them at face value today. Walked in the barn. Uh, LT Troubadour was one, and the other one was uh, Arrowhead Hanover. How'd they eat their breakfast? Well, Arrowhead Hanover dove into his bucket, he's got his head over the gate, he's sharp as a tack, he has no temperature, there's, there's shit in the stall. Um, so he looks comfortable, everything looks fine. Whereas LT Troubadour picked away at his breakfast, there is, you know, he did use the bathroom in his stall, but laying down a little bit more. Not how he usually is. LT Troubadour was scratched. Uh, Arrowhead Hanover was not. Just common sense. Leggy trained good. Uh, so Leggy, Ali Scott Grit, Mountaineer Prince were all together, but they were a good four lengths behind Melisandre. I moved her down the back stretch and I kept her in gear right through the wire to see what she'd do. Through the wire, she was great, but again, made a little break in the turn. I was a little, little miffed over that, but that's just her being her um, in the mile, all business. Great set from her. The pace was good. Uh, the pace set number five was very, very good. Uh, Freedom Hill was listed to go in there, but again, has been going good aside from the other day when she made a bobble on Scott. Pitch that line, doesn't matter. Uh, Freedom Hill's been great. I just took her out, just scratched her today. Um, I'll go with some of these horses tomorrow morning before I go to Northfield Park, or before I go to the Meadows. Uh, Fire and Shine was good. I was beat fair and square by three horses. Foxy Seaside come first over and dummied me. Uh, 
she, she, her and Rosa and AJ finished together, and it was great to see Rosa and Alexander come back to life, show some pop today. She was charging on the end of it to be third. This is a filly that was sick for a week. She was legit sick for a week, and is just starting to come back now. Looked very good. Uh, a mile in, the Pacers went in 224, but I told them, just, there's no need for these guys to go fast. They've been awesome for quite a while. Roser and AJ looked very, very good also. So a good set there. We went out in the sixth set. There was only four of us. She sits at the bar, Green Glitter, Bluebird, Tuxedo Hill, Manhattan Money. I took over the lead at the three-eighths with Green Glitter and Amy. A little ballsy move coming to the half, cleared to the lead, and uh, held me off. I want to, we won a mile on 218. Went a little more than we were going to. But won a mile on 218. Green Glitter and she sits at the bar were 1-2. She sits at the bar, won the set. I was second with her. Right behind me, Manhattan Money, a really good last half. And here's a horse that I was raving about how good he looked going a mile on 23. Went a mile on 18 and a piece 19 today and looked very good. Bluebird Tuxedo Hill looked good also. Now the last two sets we combined. Dancing in my socks I kind of went hard with on Monday. No need to go with him. Blue Venture was getting over, tying up with a high AST. We scratched both those horses. Pelican Al, we just jogged him today. The vet thought he was getting to the bottom of it. We did some x-ray work, some exploratory work with him. Found bruising in his feet, which isn't shocking. His knees were bothering him a little bit. Again, nothing new, nothing shocking. Shocking. Lots of horses fit the same mold. He thought his right stifle was a little immature that was bothering him a little bit. He injected his stifle, uh, which was fine. I was okay. We just did him with iodine. We injected a stifle, and if we don't see him come forward and stay coming forward over the next few weeks, then he's a horse I could easily say, why don't we just give this guy a month in the nice, fresh, green grass just to let him fill out and grow up. Uh, and that's a possibility also. So, uh, and the only horse out of that set to train today was Southwind Idex. I went with him. The priest Jason went with. Amy went with Aunt Lily. A Trant was Joey Cramp. We scratched, he's a great guy, he trained Monday, and Gorgeous Package was a little bit sick, so she gets scratched today also. Uh, winning the set easily, as you can imagine, was a Trant. Very good, Aunt Lily was a very strong second. The Priest was third and I was fourth with Idex. We won a mile on 219 and we were just a hair off of the front two's flank. They looked very good, a Trant and Aunt Lily looked very, very good. And I was really happy to see um, the Priest start to come back to life again also. He had a, a very similar virus, very similar um, timeline uh, timeline and, and times as uh, Rosa and Alexandra. It really knocked the life out of them for about four, five, six days. And, then, and, then, and when they're down like that, it does take time to get rolling again. I saw it with Rose Run Alexandra and I saw it with Rose Run Alexandra and again today, uh, saw it with with uh, the prince or with uh, the priest, and he is back going good today. So very happy with what I saw from him. Uh, Aunt Lily was great. Uh, Toronto was great, and Southwind Idex was good also. Um, very telling uh, training session today. We took the flip flops off of Southwind Idex, and he got on the right line a little bit. Let his head down. Went back from a can't see back to a closed. Put a head pull on the inside, put the flip flops back on him, straight as a die today. He was actually very good, also. So, that is how the training went today. Uh, the horses that we did scratch today, I will tell you right now. Um, we scratched uh, Dancing by Myself, I'll go with him in the morning. We scratched LT Troubadour, I'll probably go with him in the morning. Also, Wander Hill, again, I'll go with him in the morning. There's three that were scratched. Freedom Hill, I'll go with her tomorrow, also. That's four. Um, gorgeous package will probably just go back on Friday. He's a great guy back on Friday. Blue Ventura and Pelican Owl will likely go back on Friday as will Dancing in My Socks. So that's what took place today. That's what took place yesterday. I got a couple of horses to drive tonight. I'm excited. Interested to see what's going to play out here with uh, Mounds for All. Very interested in his race and then Blanton's Blue also. So we have some racing today, tomorrow, the rest of the week. Um, yeah, yesterday it did take a little bit out of me, but you know what? It was worth it. I got a good a good look at everybody. A little disappointed I didn't get to qualify, but the qualifiers went well today. Uh, Lovers play. John McDonald went with her. It looked like a very good line. 2 1 30 piece, 29 a piece on the end of it. And Lonely Lakewood. I was happy Eric opted just to play the safe move and take him to the back and just race him on the end of it. 2 2, last half, 59, last quarter, and 29 in a piece. That's what he was ready to go. Remember, we just had his throat done too. So that's what he was ready to go. Will he need another training mile? We could maybe put him in to go um, and see how it is. But I just want to go easy with Lonely Lakewood for the next two weeks or so. So with that, I'm going to let you go. I hope you guys had a wonderful 
Wednesday, the weather was not great here. Could have been much worse. It was not great here. Uh, but better days ahead. Take care.